You've walked past them a thousand times, brushed against tall grass, sat in the woods, and never realized something was watching you. Ticks don't chase like predators. They wait, motionless, balanced on the tip of a leaf, two front limbs outstretched like antennae, sensing, smelling, listening for you. They don't have eyes like ours. They hunt with infrared, detecting the heat from your body, your carbon dioxide, the scent of your breath, even vibrations through the ground. And when you pass close enough, they grab. Without warning, without pain, you don't feel the bite, you don't feel the probe, but their mouth parts are already buried deep into your skin. They inject an anesthetic so you won't notice. Then they begin to feed. Not seconds, not minutes, days. A tick's body swells grotesquely as it drinks your blood, stretching, pulsing, turning from a tiny speck to a bloated gray lump. And while they feed, some release more than saliva. Some deliver disease. Lyme, babesiosis, anaplasmosis, even a meat allergy. All through a creature that can't even jump or fly. So the next time you're out in the woods, remember what's waiting. Not to chase, but to latch, to hide, to feed. And you'll never even feel it happen.